Hello my friends and uh, welcome to my channel again. Well, uh, here's what I'm going to be talking about today is the process of buying a home in Serbia. And I will tell you all about it right after this. <laughs> Now, one of the reasons I want to talk about it is somebody asked me, well, what's the process of buying a home in Serbia? Uh, where can I find a house to purchase in Serbia? And before I go into this, uh, I would like to let you know that, yes, in the state of uh, New York, when I lived in the U.S., I was licensed to do real estate, and I did that. I also did that in the state of, of Florida. However, I do not sell real estate in Serbia. Uh, all my experience about purchasing a home in Serbia is uh, from me purchasing properties in Serbia. Now, before I go into the process of buying a home in Serbia, I like to talk about some other things first. The process of finding a home in Serbia. Now, if you're looking for a house in some major cities, there are many real estates. Uh, real estate offices that could help you find a home, find an apartment, uh, either purchased or rent, not a problem. If you're looking to buy a house somewhere in a village, you could also go online and even some real estate will have property in villages. And if you check on Facebook, many people advertise on Facebook. And there are many websites that you could find online of people selling their homes and villages. However, one of the things that I like to say is prior to buying a home in Serbia, especially if you're not a Serbian, if you've never been in Serbia before, never visited Serbia before, you know, you don't want to buy something and six miles down the road, you don't like the town, you don't like the city, you don't like the village. So the best advice that I could give you is if you decide, you know what, I want to buy a house in Serbia, I want to buy a house somewhere in a village or in a city, my advice is um, just take a vacation. Come to Serbia for I don't know, a month, two months, uh, or if you want to move to Serbia, well, why don't you rent an apartment first? Rent an apartment, rent a car, drive around until you find the city or the village that is right for you. The place that you know you want to live in, talk to people, see if there are enough stores, if. Uh, Let's put it this way. See if that is the place that you want to spend, I don't know, 5, 10, 20, 30 years. Or if you want to spend the 6 months or 1 year. Now, once you find the town or the city that you want to live in, well, if it's a city, just go to a real estate and uh, Ask them if they have anything for sale, go and look for properties. If you are looking for a smaller village or a small city, well, you know what? Talk to people. Ask them, hey, do you know if there's a house for sale here? Many times, the people in Serbia will advertise mouth to mouth. They will not, or they will just put it on Facebook, or they'll put on a newspaper like Kupuy and Prodayem, and that's one of the easiest way of finding a house 
uh, just talk to people. Spend a little time in the village. Well, number one is going to give you an opportunity to see if you like the people, if you like the village, but at the same time, will give you an opportunity of finding the house that you actually want to buy. Now, once you found a house, now, you know, I lived, like I said, I sold real estate in New York, and in order to buy a real estate in New York, you needed a binder, which is like a first contract that has to be done by an attorney, and then you wait for your mortgage or whatever it is, and then you gotta go for a second contract. In the state of Florida, is a little bit different. Um, in the state of Florida, you do not need an attorney. Um, so real estate will handle that, and uh, the insurance company that should get title insurance, they will, you know, do the search on the property. In Serbia, once you found a house, uh, make sure that the people are selling the house, they actually own that house, and if it's more than one party uh, selling that house, make sure that both of them are willing to sell it. So then you go find yourself an attorney, and the attorney will draft the paperwork, they will do anything, they will check to see if there's any liens on the property, if there are any liens, Make sure that those liens are uh, satisfied prior to you purchasing the house. Now, you could do it yourself and then discount it from the price of the house, or you could ask the owner just to do it. Sometimes you will find out that the owner might not have enough money to do that, so you might agree to do it yourself. Now, once the attorney did the contract, he'll send that contract to a notary public. Now, when I purchased the first property here in Serbia, things were a little more complicated. Now, the government made, it, made the process much easier than it was before. Before, you had to get an attorney, then you had to go to um, the court, and then you had to register with the court, then you had, you had to do a lot of work yourself. And right now, once the paperwork reaches the notary public, you'll be them. Uh, both you and the seller will um, sign the paperwork, money will exchange, and then the notary public will do basically everything. You'll file the paperwork with the city or the state, and you don't have to do approximately nothing, except that within 30 days, well, you own the house. So the next day you could actually move into the house, not a problem, unless, you agree with the seller that he has some right to stay there, I don't know, a week, two weeks, or whatever. But that is something that you and the seller will agree. Once you sign the paperwork at the notary public, basically the house is yours and you could move into the house. You gave him the money and, like I said, the house is yours. All the process takes about seven days. Now, about 30 days after you purchase the home, uh, the city, will send, they will either send an appraiser or they will just look it through satellite, basically to figure out what is your house worth, what is your property worth, and then you'll be taxed on that uh, value of the property. Basically, it's not going to be a lot of money, uh, again, depending on where the house is located, how big the lot is, how big the house is. So basically, it won't be a lot of money, but that money will have to be paid, I would say, 30 days after you, or 30 or 40 days, depending when they come out. Sometimes they'll come in within 30 days, sometimes they might take them a little longer, but more or less 30 days, and then you'll pay that, and basically that's it. You, are, you will receive in your paperwork, you'll receive a copy of everything, You'll be the owner of that property, and in the future, you'll be paying your taxes. Now, yes, as soon as you purchase the house, you have to transfer electricity, gas, if there's gas in the house. So you have to do all that within uh, a day or so.
Now make sure that prior to purchasing the house, the previous owner didn't have any debts because sometimes there might be debts for electricity or for water or gas. Make sure that everything is paid off and he doesn't owe any money anywhere. You don't want to get stuck with that. Now, the biggest thing that I want to say is instead of just going in and find the property online, and I did that. I made that mistake. Instead of just find a property online, pay whatever they ask for. You know, in Serbia, it's negotiation. You could negotiate on the price. Sometimes people will ask a large amount of money, knowing very well that the house is not worth that money. Well, guess what? Negotiate. And if they don't want to negotiate, there are many houses for sale in Serbia. Uh, you could find even in the same town two, three, four, five houses for sale, even if the town is small. Uh, so the best advice, like I said, the best advice I can give you, buying a house in Serbia is easy, but make sure the house that you're buying is in the village or city that you actually want to live in. I mean, look, you could find rent fairly cheap in Serbia. I mean, if you're just looking to get something while you're finding a house, it doesn't really matter what city or what town or what village you're going to go into. Get something cheap. Spend a hundred euros spend, I don't know, a month or 200 euros a month, and that will give you time to drive around, look around, see that you're satisfied with what you buy. And I'm not talking about that just about Serbia. That is for anywhere in the world that you're going to buy a house. And make sure that the place that you buy in a house is the place that you want to live, at least for a certain amount of time. Now, if you have any questions, uh, leave it in your comments. If you want to talk to me in more detail, ask for my email. But, you know, at the same time, don't forget, subscribe. It, it doesn't cost you anything, but it's very important to me uh, for this channel to grow, for being able to give more and more information to people around the world. Now also it's important that you leave a like, or well, if you don't like it, leave a dislike, but leave one either way. I want this video to grow so I could help more and more people to know more about Serbia, to know more about retiring in Serbia. But at the same time, you will find out that I will do videos not just in Serbia, but I will be doing videos in other countries, other cities, other places around the world. So again, if you have any questions at all, leave a comment. I will try to respond to every one of your questions. With that, I'm going to end this video. Hope you enjoyed it and leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.